So let's take a minute and jump on the hype train and talk about Gardner Minshew, the up-and-coming backup quarterback for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Who is he, and where did he come from? So we'll go back to when he was in high school. Coming out, he had no offers from any colleges. Ended up actually just walking on at Troy University. From there, he transferred to a JUCO at Northwestern Mississippi CC and took them actually to a national championship there and played what he calls one of his favorite seasons of football. After that, he receives a couple offers, but he ended up going to ECU. He gets booed off the field for playing so poorly. But he ends up graduating from there. Then he starts making his own highlight tapes and sending them all over the country. The first to respond was actually Alabama, but after Jalen Hurts and Tua both stayed and that whole thing was going down, he decided to go somewhere else. That's when Coach Leach from Washington State University gave him a call and asked him if he wanted to lead the nation in passing. And that's exactly what he went and did. He, uh, him and the Cougars that year, they set a school record for wins going 11-2 and two in a division that was in a down year. He finished as a Heisman finalist and just wanted to prove that he was capable of competing at the professional level. He just wanted somebody to take a chance on him. So the Jags selected him in the sixth round, 178th overall, I think. And that's when everything changed for him. And honestly, that's when everything changed for the Jaguars as well. Minshew and the Jags went 0-4 in the preseason, which gave little to be excited about, especially for Jags fans. But week one, Jags versus Chiefs, the Super Bowl champion, new quarterback Nick Foles comes out, throws a touchdown pass, but then ends up getting hurt within his first 15 minutes as a Jaguar. And all of a sudden, the six-round pick who went 0-4 in the preseason is now in charge. As a Jags fan, you're devastated at this point. But he comes out, he throws completes 22 of 25 passes, 275 yards, two touchdowns, and only one interception, his only of the year so far. Despite the Jazz defense getting scorched all afternoon by Sammy Watkins and Pat Mahomes, Gardner Minshew kept it within reason. They actually only ended up losing that game by two scores, 26 to 40. But here's where things get really interesting. Everyone, even outside of the Jazz fan base, starts to fall in love with this guy. Minshew and his little Hall of Fame mustache took the nation by storm. Story servicing everywhere about him wrestling giant fish. No, really. Uh, he tried to break his own hand with a hammer so he could receive a medical red shirt and keep playing football. Really. There's been several reports that he himself has even confirmed that oftentimes he works out wearing nothing but a jock strap, aviator sunglasses, and a headband. <laughs> Over the course of four weeks, he's given the Jaguars fan base hope despite two losses and despite the whole Jalen Ramsey situation, which we'll talk about later. He's received a million-dollar adult film offer. He's been the, the subject of some epic memes. He's coined the terms Minshew Magic and Minshew Mania. <clears throat> He's been under duress a lot this season because of the Jags' subpar offensive line, but that has not stopped him from making something out of nothing, hence Minshew Magic. He's gaining on 1,000 yards passing, 7 touchdowns, and a QB rating of 106.9, which is the highest by a rookie in his first four games in the Super Bowl era, even beating out Dan Marino. He played well in week one and kept the Jaguars from getting blown out by 40 points or more. He led a game-tying drive that ended up coming up just short after they tried for two points and missed, ended up losing to the Texans by one point. But week three, an awesome performance from Minshew and the Jaguars defense gets him an awesome win over a rival opponent at home. In that game, he threw for 204 yards and two touchdowns. I mean, really, if you've had Gardner Minshew and DJ Chark in your lineups this year at all, you probably love this guy already. <laughs> now, this past Sunday against the Broncos in Denver, things did not get off to a good start at all. Without Jalen Ramsey, undrafted free agent Trey Herndon starts at cornerback, and seasoned, experienced quarterback Joe Flacco picks on that a lot. In the final minute of the first half, Ronnie Harrison intercepts the ball and gets the Jags in a field goal range to only go into halftime down 11, 17-6, and they have all the momentum. What's crazy is that the Jags actually made halftime adjustments, which is something they have not been known for, and it's been a uh, it's been a weak spot for them. <clears throat> they come out and the first drive of the half took up ten minutes and twenty four seconds of that first quarter, sixteen plays, which ultimately ended with Gardner Minshew hitting Raquel Armstead right on the numbers for the first Jags touchdown of the game. Gardner Minshew and the offense bailed out a dreadful performance from the defense and saved them from going 1-3 and three and well on their way to irrelevance. Maybe he's even saved the Jaguars' season, and you know, he could possibly sneak them into the playoffs later this year. Who knows? 
Some are calling him the best quarterback in the league. I, I don't know that I would go that far. But as a 23-year-old rookie, I think he can certainly get there. If nothing else, you got to admire the young quarterback's passion and moxie. And if nothing else, you got to really enjoy the memes about him because, come on, they're hilarious. But he's definitely played well, and he's earned respect at the NFL level, for sure. With all of this buzz, and given how well Gardner Minshew has played so far this season, the question deserves to be asked, who is the guy for the Jacksonville Jaguars? Is it an experienced and healthy Nick Foles, or is it a young and hungry Gardner Minshew? Let me know down below in the comments what you think, and we'll see you guys next time on Third and Long.